This video is on how to use the pine needle calculator. I'm here on the Landscapers Corner Advanced page, which has all our calculators right here. So we're going to scroll down to the pine needle calculator and uh, obviously watch the video on how to measure for the pine needles, how to walk off the measurements. And um, you can see some of my other videos on how to actually use the um, satellite view to measure using the online tools. But I like to actually walk them off if I can because I like to section out each area so that when I have helpers coming to help spread the pine needles, they know how many bales to drop in each section. So I'm going to actually show you that right now. So scroll down here to where it says Pine Needle Calculator. This picture is just a JPEG picture. If you click on it, it just makes the picture bigger, but that doesn't actually download the calculator. Click on this button here where it says click here to download the Pine Needle Calculator. So we're going to click on that. And notice how it downloaded it right over here to the left. So we're going to open that up in Excel. Make sure you go up here and click on Enable Editing or else it won't let you do anything. And you're going to actually click in the dimensions of the, each of these areas. Now over here to the right, I'm going to insert the video that plays previously to show how to actually measure out the length times the width of each of these areas so that you'll see where I get my dimensions at. Now notice in this calculator I have this at, a, at an average of a 3 inch depth. I didn't give the option to change the depth of pine needles because this is an average and most of the time when you, when you install pine needles you're going to want to do it at this average. Okay so this is at the 3 inch depth. Notice also I have long leaf pine needles up here which is the most popular ones that I install and I've also included in this calculator the short leaf pine needles as well and you'll see in the calculator how just you only have to punch the dimensions in each area once and it will automatically insert it into the short leaf pine needle calculator that way you have them side by side so you can uh, do this very quickly so this process is very quick quick Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to look at the areas that we've measured um, for pine needles. This is a fairly large pine needle install. It's just a residential. Uh, this is actually one of my actual residential properties that I install. Now these dimensions are not necessarily accurate to what I've walked off in the previous video. Um, the, this is just for the sake of illustration, so these are not exact to what the actual property necessarily is. So I have just kind of created this video here to the right just to show you how you would do it. Okay, so what we'll do is just enter in each section um, the length times width. So we're just going to go 20 times 10 in area 1. Notice here tells you how many bales to put in that first section. It's very, it's very easy, very simple. That way you can just unload the pine needles very quickly and drop them in each labeled section and then move on. That way then you can begin to spread. Okay, so 20 times 6. Notice as you're entering in the areas up here, it's also adding the areas down here. So you don't have to, to do this twice. It's automatically calculated to, to go in both calculators. Now if you try to enter in here, it's not going to work. Notice I can click here and type, and it's that's a protected cell, so you can't type anything in there. You have to have a special login that only I have um, to be able to edit this this uh, calculator. So you basically just have to download the calculator for each service. 
um, which it's always going to be on the website as long as you're a member you'll have access to it and just download for each individual customer okay so area three is six by um, or I'm sorry I was looking at the wrong thing area three is ten by three area four twelve by four five six by three okay and this is self-explanatory once you get used to how to label your sections and your areas then um, this is very simple but obviously this video is to train you how to do it so I'm just going to punch all of these sections in okay now notice um, section 7 I'm going to note in a minute you'll notice I've only got 10 sections in this calculator um, what you can do is if, if for some reason you don't have or you've got like this is just a crazy large install and you need more than this 10 section um, then you can actually uh, email me and let me know or send me a message on the website and say I need I need like this calculator changed I might end up going back by the time you even watch this video I might have added extra sections so this video is based off of these 10 areas that I've created in this calculator but I realize there's some people that will need more than that many sections um, so I'll probably change it to six or or 15 sections and uh, because you can't edit this right now like normally you'd be able to click in here right click hit insert let's see you can't because I've got it locked because again I don't, I don't want you to be I don't want you editing all these formulas and stuff because you'll you'll mess it up you'll mess the calculator up so obviously there's certain areas that are locked here um, you're only able to to actually the these areas are unlocked but obviously these like if you try to type in the number of bales or anything it, you're gonna get that this is a protected sheet and that's actually for for your sake it's actually good that you're not able to do that because if you mess the calculation up accidentally or the formula then uh, it won't calculate right so once we get these sections in you'll notice total number of bales needed 14.32 now you will notice this calculator is not the dimensions are not exactly accurate to the actual um, property that you see over on the right this is just labeled for your sake just as illustration dimensions of areas just for the sake of illustration here so that way if you're looking at that property going man that surely takes more than 14 bales you're right this is just uh, you know the dimensions that I've just labeled just again for this video okay once you get the total number of bales and again this is the long leaf pine needle and the short leaf pine needles down here um, that are going to be the exact same dimensions that you punched in up here will also be labeled down here below um, and so you're going to put cost per bale long leaf pine needles uh, average about six to seven dollars a bale it just depends on uh, the year and what you can get them for I always like to go a little bit high as far as what I quote the customer because the place I get them they actually have good deals so uh, just check around and you know charge the average cost per bale even if you get a discount you still charge the customer retail price even though you're getting a discount because you can make the money off off of that also 
So I'm just going to say, um, I'll just say 650 per bale. Okay. And so you'll notice the total cost is $93. That's your out of pocket expense. And then um, labor install per bale right here is. Um, I normally charge about uh, two to three dollars a bale. I'm a little bit more expensive than a lot of landscapers when it comes to mulch and pine needle installs. I want to put three dollars a bale. Okay. And then I'm going to say delivery charge 50. I would do no less, especially if you're, of course, you're going to have to pay someone else if they bring them out. And the, the, this is so few bales of pine needles, obviously, you would pick them up. I would charge a delivery fee because you're going to actually drive out to the place and then have to drive back to uh, or drive over to the customer the next day or whenever. And so you, you, you need to be making $50 an hour um, because if you're not doing this job, you could be making $50 an hour doing lawn maintenance or something else. So every hour needs to be charged, even the time that it takes to go to the place to pick up the pine needles. So that's why you always want to have a delivery charge. So I would round this... Um, up again to the nearest ten dollars as I've mentioned in some of the other calculating videos so I would say hundred and ninety dollars in fact I would probably round this up right up to two hundred to say two hundred dollars which includes your the price of the pine needles labor delivery included um, and then down here at the short leaf if you're gonna punt if you're gonna put the short leaves pine needles down do cost per bale. You can get these for like four bucks a bale because they're they don't cover as many square feet. Okay. Again, labor per bale. I would put three dollars a bale. Okay. Delivery charge fifty dollars. And so one hundred and sixty-six dollars for the. Uh short leaf now notice if you're buying the short leaf for cheaper even though these spread out farther the long leaf um, this is still going to be a little bit cheaper because the cost per bale but I really don't like the way the short leaf pine needle bales look um, they really don't look very good um, compared to the long leaf so I just always do log leaf Unless the customer actually says, I want short leaf, which I don't know any customer that would actually say that. But, um, you know, a lot of guys will do these because they're going to save a little money in the cost per bale. But I would not do that. I would, I would do long leaf. They look way better. So this is very easy calculator to use. Okay. Um, the difference in my calculator here and other ones that you might use online is I've added this cost section so it will help you cost out everything better of course you could use online ones for the mulch places that have them on their websites to get all of this but they don't actually put the sections I like to section these out so you know area one four bales area two two and a half bales area three half a bale area four about a bale and you can literally just drop the bales in each section and then as you split these small sections out you know you can just put one in one section and leave one blank or whatever or one empty and uh but that's another benefit to my calculator is you get literally just like your mulch is down to the wheelbarrow load per section or per area these are the number of bales per area and then including the cost so it's very simple to do. When you're done, just go up here, hit File, Save As on your computer. If you have the Office 365, you can save it to your OneDrive. Um, and then I would go to your actual documents for your business. So I'm going to go in where my business would be under Estimates. 
and then I'm going to save this as you know John Smith um, pine needle estimate and then instead of saving this as an Excel workbook save it as a PDF right here and click Save and you'll notice this pops up you will print this off so just go to your print uh, button up here and print this off and this is what you'll take out to the job with you or you will uh, send it with your employees um, if you're out there with them or if they're doing it on their own obviously you want to make sure they understand the difference between these calculators so you can just circle you know whichever one that you want to use okay um, hit this cancel button it's just asking me to update this Adobe PDF reader okay so that's how you do the measuring of this uh, mulch calculator how to use the calculator how to download it and how to, how to uh, measure it's very simple very easy this is going to really help you out on your jobs. Okay, so that's how you use that.